A woman found brutally murdered on the side of a road in Los Angeles would not be identified for 46 years. Hello, true crimers. This is the case of Reet Jurvetston. Viewer discretion is advised. On November 16, 1969, on Mulholland Drive in Los Angeles, California, the body of a young woman was found in some bushes. It appeared that the person who put her there was trying to throw her all the way down into a ravine, but her body got stuck on a large branch. The woman was fully clothed. There were no signs of any kind of sexual assault. These were some of the initial like composites that were made of the woman. There was no way of identifying her. She had no wallet. There was nothing on her person that could help figure out who she was. She had been stabbed a staggering 100 and 50 times. And these stab wounds were in the neck, the chest, and the torso, with what the coroner believed would be a pen knife. Not even a very large knife at all. Her carotid artery was severed. She also had defensive wounds on her hands. So police would release the images on either side of this um, right away, and no one identified her. The one in the middle was made many, many, many years later. This is the exact outfit she was in when she was found. They also ruled out robbery because she had some fairly expensive jewelry on her. So where she was found was only a few miles away from where the Sharon Tate murders happened. And those murders occurred not too long before this one. After police released the composite drawings, some people came forward and said they believed they saw a woman who looked just like that intermingling with Charles Manson and his crew at Spawn Ranch. One of the people who came forward to say this um, said the woman identified as someone named Sherry. However, police were never able to actually connect the two. Charles Manson was also asked about her before she was identified and even after she was identified, and he said, no, that wasn't me. So who knows? It would not be until 46 years later in 2015 when a family friend would recognize someone from an unidentified victim's website as that being Reet Jurvetston. So her sister provided a DNA sample and it was a match. They were family members. The body was Reet. Reet Jurvetston was from Montreal, Canada. She had just moved to Los Angeles a few weeks before she was murdered. She did so to apparently meet a man named John or Jean, someone she had a romantic interest in, I guess, from back in Canada, who then moved to Los Angeles himself. These are composite drawings of that man, plus that man's roommate, the only two viable suspects at this point. Reach wanted to make a new life for herself. Was she bamboozled by this man? And police are still waiting for these two men to come forward.